Hey there creators, it's been a little while since uh, I've done a video so forgive me for that but uh, I had a request, a special request from Shihan Rahman who asked Dear Sir, a special request to you, please show with Playmaker Action that how we can block Raycast so that uh, when a button panel is clicked the object behind the panel is not affected if the mouse pick action is attached to the object. Please make a tutorial for this. Okay, so what I, well, I took a little while to kind of replicate this and I've also been working on my own UI framework so I've sort of studied a bit more about how the Unity UI events work um, and especially with its own Raycaster and it gets a bit confusing because there's, particularly when you're looking at Playmaker, the Unity UI uh, system which is newer than Playmaker, Playmaker was made before that. Uh, and, and originally uh, was was aiming more for the, what's known as immediate mode UI um, and there's a lot of playmaker material around immediate, immediate mode UI. So anyway I have a special setup here um, where I have this user interface with a cube in the background so if we look there's the, there's the cube. Uh, if I click on the cube and go to Playmaker, we can see that it has a state machine. Uh, basically, this has the mouse click action on it. Uh, it has a mouse down event. So when you do the mouse pick, sorry, I think I said mouse something anyway. Mouse pick action. So when you pick, uh, it populates the was picked variable, which is a uh, game object variable that will store you know, the, the fact that this cube was picked. And then this state over here will just debug it, um, the output to the console over here. So if I clear this, uh, you'll see the, the game object will get output here uh, to the console. And um, we have here uh, a, a panel. So there's just a panel above, a panel below, and some user interface. And I want to explain how. Uh, UI graphics raycaster works versus the physics raycasters uh, and, and how all these things are sort of coming together and why it gets a little bit complicated. So let's hit play and let's replicate what uh, Shihan was talking about and we'll go from there. So first of all, now okay, right, now if I, uh, let me just, I have a masking panel, let me turn this off. So if I click on the panel where the cube is, we can see I've rigged it so that you actually get a warning. So if we click on the cube again, just to show you, back to Playmaker, um, it's a warning here. The log level is warning. Okay, that's why that's a warning there. Uh, now what I can do is if I hit the space bar in the scene view up here, you'll see a red ray. Okay. And the whole idea, this is another feature of, of the debug class. You can actually get a, a ray drawn in the scene view. And so you can see here as I move the mouse over the cube that the ray is passing through the cube. So this ray is being projected from where the mouse is on the screen. Okay, so you've got the, you've got the, uh, the camera and then you've got the mouse somewhere in the actual screen. You know, and of course the screen is the viewport of the camera. So where the mouse is, there's a point on the screen. And I'm uh, using the camera to convert that into a point in world space. And then I'm projecting the ray through the, the camera. And that's what that red debug ray is. And so right now we're on the cube. And so every time I click there, we're, um, yeah, we're stimulating this, uh, this cube, right? And so that's the mouse pick is a interaction that uh, Playmaker is setting up um, right for the, for the actual cube. Now there's a few interesting things to notice about the cube. First of all it's got a box collider. Right? And if I uncheck that, let's just clear this on the console and go back here and click. Notice how nothing comes up in the console. So the box collider is what enables mouse pick to work. Now box collider is an element of physics. right? That means that the the uh, action, right? So if we look at Playmaker in the state, this mouse pick action is actually part of physics. 
And in fact, if we look at actions in here, yeah, it didn't help me. Um, oh yeah, fine, I have to stop. All right, let's stop and have a little look. I think if we go to the actions thing in here, it'll actually be under physics as well, which gives it away, physics. Uh, be funny if it, no, it's not. Um, where have they buried it? It's probably an input. Yes, input. Mouse pick. So this is something quite specific to, um, it's a setup that, that Playmaker have created, um, but it's actually using the physics, a physics ray cast to do it, which is why if that box collider is not, uh, not working, you're not gonna get anywhere. Okay, so it's a, it's a physics element, right? Um, and that was actually a trick that you you could use for ages in Unity. It's, it's actually how uh, click click events are, are actually detected in Unity uh, quite a bit that way. It's pretty standard stuff. Uh, and that's how they achieved it in um, Playmaker. Now, the th I have effectively masked, I've made a panel that effectively masks this cube. So if I, Disable this here. We can see that the uh, the log is coming out. So you might be wondering, well, how did I do that, right? So this is really Shihan's question. So in this panel, right? So this is a masking panel. If I just disable the whole object, it goes away. In fact, let's do that. So let's re-enable the box collider just to prove that that's what makes it work. So if I click here, let's clear this. Okay. Now that the masking panel is turned back on. Uh, if I click on the cube, nothing. If I disable the panel so the whole thing disappears. Okay, we get the events, right? Uh, I didn't make it up. So, so the question is, how does that masking panel work? And basically, I've created a box collider and that gobbles the physics event, right? The physics collision. So the collision happens because if we look at it in the scene, the box collider is here and the cube with its box collider is there. So this gets hit first and the cube behind it does not get hit. Okay, and that's basically how that works. So if I clear this, we can see it is absolutely masking it. And I can disable this box collider and you can see that the, the events are being registered. So because that's a, a physics um, click that does the mouse pick, you need to use a box collider to to actually mask it. Now, <laughs> it gets a bit more interesting, right? The um, the thing is, if I, let's have a look at, I've got another some other UI down below here, and you can see I've got some animation rigged up and some more output and things. Um, now, on this particular panel, the one that's got test masking UI events, it also, has a box collider, but it's disabled. If I enable it, okay, the buttons are broken, right? Um, and that's because this box collider, the physics event, is actually um, blocking even the graphics raycaster from working. So what's a graphics raycaster? So let's take a little look at um, the canvas. Okay, so the canvas, which is a part of a, a, one of these new Unity UI uh, setups, is you have this graphics raycaster here. And so the graphics raycaster is a kind of raycaster which generates events. So you've got this event system thing, which is also part of uh, the UI. The graphics raycaster it detects collisions from um, a mouse click in an attached camera to any of the uh, well clickable objects in the UI. Okay, so that's it's it's a bit like the physics raycast, but this is done. It's cheaper than physics. It's not using physics to do it. It's not it's not simulating collisions with a ray. Um, so using the physics is probably a bit more expensive than using this this uh, graphics raycaster approach. And you can see that if we look at, um, uh, what was it? Uh, so for instance, if I disable the graphics raycaster and we go back to the panel and I 
have this, yep, that's disabled. Okay, these don't work. We go back to the canvas and re-enable this. They work again, so the graphics raycaster is the key thing that makes this work. And if we look at the canvas, you can see here that you know, the, the main camera is the linked element, right? And it's got the graphics raycaster is associated with that, uh, well, it's an, an attached component. So this main camera is where the the button clicks will be, it will have a ray for the graphics raycaster will be projected from. Okay, very similar to, to my setup with the debug ray, which we can see now uh, on the screen. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at one other thing. If I just to prove that the it's a whole physics collision that's taking place. Okay, so clear this. All right, so from a cleared console, if I click on the, the cube, we we see nothing. If I just rotate this slightly. Get this positioned. We can see that the ray. See how? It, so here it's not colliding with the cube, and you can see that uh, the mouse is missing the cube when I bring it over the cube. You can see the ray is intersecting, and I can click, but I'm not getting anything. Now, what happens if in the same view I bring the cube forward, right? And now I click on the cube, and we see the events, right? So the all of that is just simply because the masking panel has this box collider. The other thing I can do is I can edit the size of the box collider. So let's put the cube back. Pop that back behind there. Prove first of all that this is not detecting anymore. It's not. Now let's change the size of the box collider. Oops, not with that though. On the masking panel. Uh, so edit, yep. Okay, so now if I make it move that such that it's it's really really thin and practically above it it is above the cube so now when I click here sure enough the events are created but if I then bring that collider back down it's masking the cube so the trick is all you need to block um, a mouse pick action from working is you just need to have a, another physics object in front of it. So here we have, this, this is uh, a box collider attached to a panel, but it probably could be attached to, um, you know, any 3D object. So let's do a quad, fan objects, 3D object, quad. Let's just rig this up. I'm going to take it here. Huge. Uh, there we are. Okay. Right, that's better. And now, if we bring it across, okay, it probably doesn't have to be quite that big. Bigger box collider. That's oh, got a mesh collider. Do do? Perfect. So let's try this. Okay. Can't really see the. Okay, hold on. Yeah, well, there it is now. So I can still see where I'm. Piercing there. Okay, so that's not getting detected. We disable the mesh collider on the quad. And right, not getting detected. That's fine. And all right, let's disable the whole quad. Yeah. All right, of course, the masking panel is getting in the way. Uh, let's just disable that. Make sure it's not a not a thing. Okay, so the masking panel. There we 
go. We should be able to now. Yep, there we go. Enable the mesh collider. And we can't do it anymore. Just disable the mesh collider. And sure enough, we can create more events. So any mesh collider or box collider, any physics collider can block. Yep. Any physics collider, whether it's attached to a UI panel or any other object, you just need to have something in front of your, your object with the mouse pick in order to consume that uh, that collision, that's really all you need. So it's that simple. If you want to mask a mouse pick, uh, just put an object in front that has a, a collider, whether it's a box collider, a mesh collider, sphere collider, any kind of collider will do to consume the physics event. So I hope that was interesting to to learn something about how the Unity UI works with its graphics raycaster and how physics works with the physics raycaster and how Playmaker is actually using a physics raycaster for the mouse pick event.